Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I hit 1,000 subscribers here. I'm super shocked, uh, <laughs> but I, I'm so grateful that all of you are here. Um, it's just, it's really awesome that 1,000 people enjoy my content so much that they decided to stick around, which is, that's, that's unbelievable to me. That blows my mind. It really, really does. Um, and I just, I went on Twitter and I asked, like what we what would you guys like to see for my 1000 video <laughs> nobody answered which is kind of sad um, 1000 people and I didn't get <laughs> I didn't get a single response so I did <laughs> want to just take this moment and say I'm very <laughs> active on Twitter so um, if you guys would you know if you guys are interested in outside of my videos knowing what's going on in my life Instagram and Twitter and I will link them both in this video and down below they're always linked so definitely on Twitter because that's where I post stuff like this. I ask you guys questions, um, life update stuff. It's just, it's very, very busy on Twitter for me. And it's very often YouTube centered. So there's polls, there's all that kind of stuff on there. And um, yeah, so I definitely recommend checking it out if you guys want to stay up to date with everything. Um, but since no one answered, I kind of made a decision that I was just gonna be like, "Hey, let's do a let's get let's do a get to know me tag." So um, I've never done like a get to know me, and it would be nice to maybe like introduce myself to all of you new people and old people alike. So let's get started, and I'm just going with like the very first one that I found by just Googling. So the first question, are you named after anybody? No, I don't think I am. Maybe my middle name, um, Marie, it's my aunt's name, um, but I don't think I was named after anybody. Nobody in my family has the name Amanda, so I'm gonna go with no. When was the last time you cried? Well, that's a little, <laughs> probably a couple of days ago, I don't, I'm having a little bit of a bad brain lately. All the stress and everything like that's kind of getting to me. I've been feeling kind of overwhelmed and down lately. So I look happy now, but I'm, I've been feeling it the past couple of weeks. So just sometimes I get super overwhelmed and it just comes, kind of comes out. Um, often in tears. <laughs> so a couple days ago, but I believe it's related to just kind of stress and the fact that I kind of desensitized myself to this house and I'm just so fully ready to be in the new place. Um, I don't know, my brain has just like turned off when it comes to this house. It does not see this place as home anymore. Don't know why I decided to do that. The new place is home and it's like, why aren't we there? Why aren't we home? Um, that and on top of that, just just normal kind of worries and everything like that, like money, just just a lot of stress going on lately, and it's kind of all hitting at once, and it kind of just sucks butt. <laughs> it just kind of sucks. Do I have any kids? The answer is no, and we're there's no real interest to have kids. Um, we're more fur baby people, so what we are planning for in the future is to have a fur baby. We would like to have a puppy in the future, and that would be our baby. If you were another person, would you be a friend of yourself? That is way too deep and hard to answer. I don't know because I don't know what kind of person I would be if I was a different person. That really kind of matters because if I'm the same person as myself, but as a, you know, like a twin kind of thing, or not even a twin, if I was like a doppelganger of myself, say, um, if I was a doppelganger of myself, I'd probably try to kill myself. <laughs> it would be all out war if you go by that logic, but just for the sake of the question, if I was, a, let's just say, if I was a complete copy of myself, different, would I be friends with myself? I don't think so. I think there would be way too much. Like, I think it would be, in that situation, I, I don't think I could be friendly with myself. I really don't. Um, Maybe that has to do with the whole like thinking doppelganger wise, but I'm thinking if I saw someone who is exactly like me on the street, would I be friends with myself? No. I'm not really a friend kind of person though. I, I, I have very, very little friends, so it's very hard for me to get attached to somebody 
and it, it I don't think it so much has to do with like my personality or anything like that I just think even then I think I would just have a hard time I have a hard time befriending women and like kind of trusting them so I don't know even if it was myself I I don't know I don't think so that's that's gonna be my answer I'm gonna stick with that do you use sarcasm a lot yes yes I do <laughs> I use it very very often to the point where I don't answer with direct responses I I'm a very sarcastic very dark humor person um, what is the first thing that you notice about other people usually their mannerisms usually how they're acting in public um, honestly if I in and their speech their vocal so if they're talking if they're they're moving around that's gonna be the first thing that my my brain is kind of paying attention to the next would be their appearance but the first thing that's gonna be paid attention to is how is this person acting how are they talking what is my eye color my eye color is brown it's brown I don't see any like different kinds of color in my eye I, I, I it's not like a dark chocolate brown but it's definitely like a muddy brown it's brown scary movie or happy endings scary movie um, any kind of horror movie even if it's like a cheesy one that's like that's my that's the way to my heart <laughs> so I would most enjoy a horror movie over a happy ending movie although horror movies could have happy endings favorite smells so that's a hard one and that's gonna that that's something you need to like think on or even like smell on <laughs> I really like orchids and I really like roses so let's just get that like out of the way scent wise um, I really like those scents flower the uh, flowers I love the scent of cooking food uh, food cooking like walking into a home that is cooking or has just finished cooking a really nice meal that is a wonderful scent I <sighs> I'm strange when it comes to like rain. I love like the scent of rain, but at the same time, I kind of, I kind of don't. It's just weird. So I, uh, I don't know about rain. I, I don't really know outside of that. So I'm just gonna stick with that because I, that question involves thought process. And right now, I'm just not. Nothing's coming up here right away. So I'm just gonna stick with what I said. What is the furthest you've ever been from home? So, let's see. As a kid, we used to do um, yearly trips to North Carolina, um, but I believe as a baby, I was on an airplane to Florida. I don't really, I don't remember that at all though, so I'm not gonna count that. So I'm just gonna say North Carolina has been the furthest I've ever been away from home. Do I have any special talents? I guess that depends on what you define as a special talent. I'm really, really good at drawing. I just haven't done it in a really long time actually I'm really good at writing too writing and drawing uh, used to be like two of my favorite things and I would do it all the time recently I've just kind of been in a rut when it comes to them and I have not done them at all but I'm really really good at drawing I'm, I'm like a super like not to toot my own horn like I, even though I am um, like that's kind of my forte drawing um, I'm a pretty good cook but special talents as in like juggling or anything like that? No, I don't have anything like that. Where were you born? I was born in a hospital. I was born normally, I think, in a hospital sometime in the morning. Um, I was born in Norristown, <laughs> uh, so just right outside of Philadelphia. So what are my hobbies? My hobbies are video games. Um, yep, video games is like the number one thing recently I've been playing a lot of Persona 5 that I did not think I was gonna like it I am a JRPG person I do enjoy JRPGs but I did not think I was gonna like Persona I am in love with Persona 5 I cannot put that down definitely recommend it if you are into JRPGs or video games in general it's just an all-around great game. I don't really have any other hobbies though. I mean, you know, drawing and writing and movies and music and what have you, but that's kind of it. Do I have any pets? No, I do not. Um, we really do want to get a puppy. My dog, unfortunately, did recently pass away. Do I have any siblings? Yes. 
I do have siblings. I have a younger brother. <laughs> what do I want to be when I grow up? Isn't that the question? I want it to be a concept art designer for video games. I wanted to work for some video game company and work on concept art. That was the dream. That did not happen. I'm stuck in customer service. <laughs> so that was the dream. Um, right now the dream would to be, you know, to have this kind of stuff go somewhere. So I would love to do YouTube video game related or even just like this related or videos or I don't know. <laughs> I would like a social media wise to, for, for this kind of thing to go somewhere. Um, but outside of that, just, I guess I'm still holding on to that dream from high school because that's still kind of the dream. <laughs> At least it was, but now I'm being a little bit more realistic. Who was my first best friend? I have no idea. I really have no idea. I really didn't have friends in school and I'm not counting it, really any of the people that I did because honestly, they were never really my friends. I did not have a good school experience at all throughout my life. I was always switching schools for various reasons. I was I pulled out of school at some point because of bullying. I just, I did not have a good school experience ever. So I, I really don't know who my first best friend was. I, I really don't. How tall am I? I'm, I'm like, 5'1", five, 5'2", five, I'm very, very tiny. Funniest moment throughout school? I, again, don't know, don't have any. I really don't have any. How many countries have I visited? None, I've, I've kind of always been stuck here in the US. I really wanna go to Japan. I've recently started learning Japanese. That is like, that's on the bucket list, man. Going to Japan. Um, I would like to go more than once. That would be awesome, but the goal is at least once. What was your favorite and your worst subject in high school? I was always and forever will be bad at history. I hate history. I, it's just, it's, I, I know why it's in school, but I absolutely hate it, it's stupid. Um, I retained nothing from it. Uh, and outside of that, my best was, of course, all the art classes that I ever took. <sighs> that's what I miss, that's what I miss. What is my favorite drink? What is my favorite animal? And what is my favorite perfume? Okay, so let's start backwards. So favorite perfume, I don't really have one. Uh, I don't really use perfume. My favorite animal is, um, I have a couple. I love wolves, I love foxes. Um, I really, really enjoy jellyfish and octopi, squid. So those. <laughs> And then what is my favorite drink? I gotta say, I love soda. I really, really do. Um, it's refreshing. I love the fizziness. I love, I love soda. So my favorite drink is just, it's definitely gonna be um, either one of the real sugar Cokes, Cherry Pepsi, or Mountain Dew. What would you name your children if you had children? Um, I've always really enjoyed the name Juniper for a girl. Uh, June, Juniper, I really, really, really love that name. That's really the only name that's ever stuck out at me for a name that would possibly, if ever, be a future child name, but I don't know, it really depends. Um, that's something that I would have to really decide, so I don't know. What sports do you play or have you played? Um, I don't play any sports right now, but in middle school, I played a lot of soccer. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Okay, so get ready for this. I watch a lot of YouTube. I am very active on YouTube. So number one, I'm always watching the Philip DeFranco show. I love Philip DeFranco. Um, I love watching Lindsay at DeFranco fam. So I, I love, you know, their channels. They're great. Uh, especially the behind the scenes and all that kind of stuff. I also really like, hmm, I like Sky Williams, uh, Video Game Donkey, Super Mary Face. I really enjoy watching um, Jessica Negri. Uh, I really enjoy her videos. She's super cute. I've been super, I just discovered um, Rachel and June. So I've been watching them a lot. Since I have it up in the background, I'm gonna see who I'm subscribed to because I'm blanking. Abby Williamson, she's also a really awesome YouTuber. I love her style and I enjoy her makeup tutorials and all that kind of stuff. She's really pretty, I like her, 
her personality. Alexa Poletti, I enjoy Boogie uh, 2988, Bub's Beauty, or um, you know, her her vlog channel. Uh, I guess I'll throw them in here. Um, the Yogg's cast, uh, again, I haven't watched them in a super long time, but I will always love Sips. Sips, I still watch pretty frequently. Um, he's just, I really enjoy his personality. He is a great YouTuber. Um, but the main channel, I haven't watched in a really long time. I kind of fell out of it. Um, I kind of miss their old content and a lot of the new content just feels very forced. Um, I'm sure they're, they, they've been hit with like, the whole YouTube ad scandal, but so I'm sure it's it's a like it's necessary, but it just kind of sucks. I occasionally will watch Gravier Girls videos. I enjoy, I'm gonna say that's really it because that's really all that's coming to mind um, as I scroll through here. Jenna Marbles. Gem Jenna Marbles is is enter entertaining as heck. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Jim Sterling and just I could go on and on and on. Um, I, it's a variety though. I I like all sorts of different YouTubers. Um, for instance, Jim Sterling is is video game related, and Jenna Marbles is kind of random. And then I have like um, Alexa Paletti who does a lot of makeup and stuff like that. It's just a very um, all over the place. How many boyfriends or girlfriends have you had? Four at this point? Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess four. Favorite memory from childhood? I, again, this is not something I really, I don't really know. Um, something I'd have to think on. Nothing instantly comes to mind, so I'm just gonna skip this one. How would you describe your fashion sense? All over the place, because I don't have a nail down sense. I love like the gothic style and a lot of my clothes are very gothic. But then I really like springtime flowy dresses and I, I really don't know. So I, I would describe myself in between a kind of boho goth to pastel goth. Like I'm, I'm all in there, pretty much, um, in terms of clothing style and makeup and all that. I'm just kind of all over the place, so I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> if I could prefer a style, I would love to do just like goth and pa pastel goth like all the time with the occasional just very cutesy dress. What phone do you have? I have an Android. Uh, I think it's a Galaxy S4. It's kind of old. Um, and tell us one of your bad habits. All right, let's just go right into it. Um, <laughs> I have the very bad habit of spending money when I'm feeling down. <laughs> it's a very bad habit to have because it does not solve anything and then when your item comes, you feel good, but then you feel really guilty because you shouldn't have purchased that and you know you shouldn't have purchased it. It's a very bad cycle to get in because then you buy things to make up for that, but then when they come, you get very upset about it. So. Or it's like, um, as soon as you make the purchase, you're like, I really shouldn't have done that. I really should not have done that. I can't afford that. But, you know, it's something I've been really working on lately. I, I've been pretty good about it. The, the last purchase I made, at, at the very least, it, like, I feel good about it. You know what I mean? It's not something that was very material. Like, I, I'm, I've got a whole bunch of books for um, textbooks and stuff like that for studying Japanese. So I don't feel guilty about this. This feels, you know, useful and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I don't, I don't have like that buyer's remorse or anything for this and I've been super working at it. I wanted to take like actual classes, but I think actual classes run during the day and I work uh, full time, so I can't do that. I don't have any like not night classes, non-credit, so I decided to just buy the textbooks and try to self-teach myself. So right now I'm learning katakana and hiragana and then I'm gonna move into a little bit of kanji but once I learn the first two I'm going to start cracking into the textbook and start really trying to learn it. Um, I'm trying to stay away from romaji but we'll see what happens. Uh, so far it's so good you know and maybe I'll document this journey if anyone is interested in it and if it goes well I'll definitely be glad to like leave tips but right now I'm kind of the one that's in the need of tips so if anyone's watching this uh, has any for me in regards to like 
books or apps or anything that I should have to help um, make this process easier and you know worth it definitely let me know down below because I'm I'm for any kind of material I want to absorb it all so anything you want to give me I am I'm glad to take so yeah guys that was 25 questions um, I only answered really I guess 20 23 24 but um, 25 get to know me questions for my 1000 video or not video but my 1000 subscriber video I am again so so grateful that all of you are here like I uh, when I first started this channel I just I absolutely did not expect to get to anything honestly I did not expect people to come here and enjoy the content that I make I don't know if anyone is aware but I've actually been on YouTube for more than five years I had a different channel I did a lot of gameplay stuff a lot of video game stuff and I just I kind of plateaued I hit 300 subscribers I didn't get any more I wasn't getting any views or comments and it was very frustrating and very I, I really did not understand how you know I had 300 people who were following me and I was getting you know subscribers every day but the count wasn't really bumping up too too much but I was getting like new people almost every day and I just wasn't getting any kind of interaction at all, not even views. So uh, it feels a little broken over there and it was very frustrating and I kind of just stopped having fun playing video games. So I kind of stopped and I just wanted to make more of a personal channel. Um, so this, this channel was born and <laughs> I guess this is like, this is more inviting I, I don't know I don't know but I'm, I'm just happy that it, it worked out it, because I, I was very frustrated about um, that whole situation so like I, I'm so super stoked that you know everyone that is here that is here um, you're all great you're all wonderful I have so much interaction and I love I was I try to respond I want to put this out here too I try to respond to everybody's comments but sometimes I don't know if it, it's settings that you guys have but some of your comments I cannot reply to thankfully it's usually people who are trying to start something or being rude or just mean or whatever so maybe they purposely have it set up that way that you know people can't respond back to them but or maybe they they put something and then block me I don't know um, but I just found that weird and if if you are one of the unfortunate ones that are not being rude or anything like that and do leave a comment and I do not respond to please understand I I tried and if, if you really want to reach me please reach out to me on Twitter I will be so glad to answer you on there I don't think there's any kind of restrictions that will really stop me from being able to um, just know that that is either a bug that's going on on my channel or it's something in your settings so I, I am trying I do like to respond to everybody I like to be active and um, friendly like I, I, I enjoy that you guys are here I enjoy having a conversation with you guys so yeah, I'm gonna go because I've had the air conditioner off for way too long. I am sweating so bad. It's so hot in here. So I will see you all in my next video. I don't know what that's gonna be, but I'm I'm so happy. Um, I will be happy to see you all there. So bye guys.